Welcome back to the Commercial Real Estate Show. I'm Michael Boyle. We're speaking with Tom Walsh with Granbridge Real Estate. And Tom, I'd like to ask you about some tips for borrowers who, who need some financing. I remember back in the day, I've been in the business for a very long time. We used to take a lot of uh, prep work in prepping a deal. So we get a property under contract and we'd figure out who's going to manage it. We'd get everything together on, on the property and the borrower and the plans and the market. So when we went to lenders, we, we had our act together, right? So what are some tips for borrowers today in, in that regard? I would say the most important thing today uh, is the accuracy of your information. Uh, right now, most all of lending is done on a trailing basis. That means looking backwards whether that be looking back 12 months, looking back three months, looking back six months. Um, we run into some deals sometimes where, where a borrower has not really kept up with that and, and now has to go create that information, which is a big ordeal to do rather than having already done it on a monthly basis. Uh, try to keep as accurate information as you possibly can and have it readily available. Don't wait for your financing time to go and create that. Right. be doing on an ongoing basis, then it's really easy. So, that, so I don't have to go back in my shoebox. No, you know, I need to get the receipts out, basically. You know, uh, One other thing, too, is in this day and age, uh, there's a lot of borrowers coming out of the recession that had issues. And, and, and in fact, it, it's probably more rare for a borrower to not have had an issue right. during the recession. With the, with the amount of, of data out there on the Internet and social media, the lender is nine and a half times out of ten going to find that information. The best way to handle that is to give it to them yourself. If you give it to them with, a, with an explanation as to what happened and how you handled it, the lender can get their arms around that and say, okay, you know, it, it seems like they, they did the right thing. Uh, a foreclosure on itself, it, there's a million foreclosures. You know, it's how you handled it. You know, it, it, it's the details of how that worked. You still have a borrower out there, what I call kind of an old-fashioned borrower that is a little close to the vest on the information they give out. I'm telling you, the lender is going to find it. And if they find it and you haven't told them about it, now it's much more difficult for you. Now it kind of brings your character into question a little bit. You know, why didn't they disclose this to us? What else are they hiding out there? It creates a negative situation. So really be upfront about issues you may have in, in lots of detail references if you have them put it all out there it'll serve you better in the end okay and we talked earlier in the show about the various sources for financing so should borrowers look to these various sources i know if you're handling a, a, a request for a loan for somebody you're going to these various sources for them uh, is that important our job is to know who can fit the borrower's needs um, if, if the borrower is looking to, to sell this property in two years or the borrower is looking to hold it infinitely and turn it over to their kids later, um, those create situations where a different lender group may be the appropriate thing for that borrower. Some, some big-time borrowers, they, can, they know that stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, most of them don't. That's why they use people like us. Mm -hmm. you know, we'll create the situation that, that, that best serves what they need. They just have to give us, you know, the, the, the story up front. It's amazing sometimes that, that we'll be weeks into a deal before we find out something that was important to the borrower that we had no idea. Yeah. They never really mentioned that, it, that this was an aspect that was important to them. Try to put that stuff on the table up front. You'd be you'd get much, much better product in the end. And what if they're not going through a, a company like yours that is, is um, sourcing different lenders? What if they're just going to one bank for a loan? Should they go to several banks, I guess? You know, there's always a danger in mm -hmm. only going to one lender and, and, mm -hmm. and not testing the market. Mm -hmm. uh, the testing of the market is kind of what we do. Yeah. Um, but, you know, if you have a relationship with a lender that you trust, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you're shopping for dollars, I, I would be leery about going to, to one lending source and okay. only one. Well, Tom, thanks for joining us today. We appreciate you being in Studio One. It was great to be here again, Mike. Thank All right, you. and thank you for joining us out there. Be sure and join us next week. We'll have uh, Dr. David Lynn on the show, and we'll talk about his new book, Advisor's Guide to Commercial Real Estate. Um, it's a great book. Check it out. Well, be sure you lead, learn, and laugh, and join us every week for the Commercial Real Estate Show. 
The Commercial Real Estate Show is brought to you by Bull Realty Commercial Advisors, a great place to do business. Visit bullrealty.com. Realnex, a comprehensive and powerful suite of commercial real estate tools at an incredibly low price. Visit realnex.com. That's R E A L N E X. FIU, Florida International University. Earn your master's in real estate in as little as 10 months without interrupting your career. Visit FIUonline.com. Excelligent, the resource professionals use for commercial real estate information. Visit Excelligent.com. That's X C E L I G E N T. Commercial Search, the source to market and source available properties for sale or lease. Visit CommercialSearch.com. For more information on these great companies or for additional videos, podcasts, or articles, visit CREshow.com.